Okay. He's going to be here at three, so I told him to drop in on you at the funeral parlor. Who is? Oh, your money man. Financial advisor, yeah. He's one of the best. Look, I know you and Ben are mates. We're more than just mates. If we do get into business together, it won't just be for me and him, you know. He's got a kid, isn't he? He's got a family to support. It'll be for Lexi, too. Right, Lola. It's not about Lola. Me and Ben go way back, that's all. But this isn't one or the other. It's not about my mate or your mate. He's just gonna give you some advice, that's all, and lay out some options. And then you can do whatever you want. I'm just thinking of you. One on. One on. Right? Just wanna take a minute. You ain't having second thoughts, are you? No, 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 I'm uh, savouring the moment. I still can't get my head around all this. I reckon that's what Max was counting on when he got you to sign on that dotted line. You give him Ruby the elbow, then or what? I ain't giving her the elbow. All right, well then, telling her slimy money mate to do one then. I couldn't get hold of her. So I left her a message. Hold up. They're on their way. Who are? Oh. I think you two should give us a bit more respect. Respect? For you? What do you reckon, Jay? Sorry, what are you talking about? Well, it's just you've been sitting on our chairs with your feet on our desks in our property. And we want you out. So what kind of stupid stunt are you trying to pull now? Well, ask your husband. He's the world expert when it comes to stupid stunts. Isn't that right, Max? Jay signed this property over to him. No. He made me scribble my name on a piece of paper when my head was messed up. And according to the law, that ain't signing anything over. Are you gonna get rid of them, or am I gonna have to? Then you know it, Max. Didn't you? It's written all over your face. Max? Run of it, I suppose. What? I would have thought you'd figure it out sooner, Jay, to be honest. You really are a piece of work, you, Max, aren't you? Are you serious? Well, look on the bright side, all right? We've been in this place rent free for a year, haven't we? Oh, that reminds me, I'll be in touch about your ears. Good luck with that. I should have got Abby back. Are you seriously telling me? Listen, there's always another way of working this out, boys. Oh, yeah? Yeah, we just carry on and then we cut you in with a share of the profits. Maybe not. No, 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 no. This, this can't be right. It's not right. No, get out! Just what I was about to say. <clears throat> Who are they? A couple of bailiffs that I call on from time to time. Always handy when dealing with illegal soldiers trying to dig their heels in. Listen, you can't touch their motors, Ben. All right, look, the land might be yours, but those, those cars are ours, yeah? Getting around will be easy enough soon. Come on, Let's go. All right, we'll talk about it. Um... Before you go, <clears throat> I believe this is yours. Oh. We'll add that to the bill. 